Well, hello everyone. It's me again, and it's been a long time. <laughs> Such a long time. I've been so, so busy. <clears throat> but I have a good book for you. It's called A Cape. It was just released in 2021, just last year, middle of the year. And it is a good one. I think it's something that we all have done. I know I did it when I was little and my children did it. So let's start. A Cape by Marty Kelly. And there is the boy of the story. I don't know his name, the main character, but it looks like he has a cape on and not much of anything else. Just some briefs and some, probably some superhero shoes. Let's see. A Cape by Marty Kelly. It is published by Sleeping Bear Press, and I am reading it with their permission. So nice illustrations. Shows all that he's doing with his cape, including falling, but hey, he's okay. A cape. Hmm, no words. So he opens up. Typical day in the life of this child playing with his cars, and one goes underneath the door accidentally. Can you see that? So of course, what's he gonna do? But open the door and look what he sees. Everything else is just blending in except this red thing right here. And you can see his hands, his hair, his, his feet. He almost looks like he's, wait a second, like he's a little bit shocked or surprised. What is this? Hmm. Look at his eyebrows and his mouth. Hmm. Even though there's no words, I know he's wondering what it is. And I think he's figured something out. So I don't think it maybe is a cape that belongs on a superhero costume. I just think he saw this piece of fabric, maybe a towel, and thought, I know what I'm going to do with this. He used his imagination. So off with the shorts, off with the shirt, and off he goes. Ooh, ooh, look at all this. Huh. It's in black and white. And then look, as it goes on, it gets in more and more color. Because look at his shoes here. They're kind of gray. And <sighs> how clever is the artist? So whoever this boy is, he's showing his muscles. I am a superhero. This is my cape. But then he realizes, uh-oh, I don't have superhero hair. So I need to do something with it. And look, it stayed. So he must have put some product in it, do you think? Product. There it is. Thumbs up. Ooh, now I can practice. Sneaking around. Making no noise. Hmm, what's he doing there? This looks like he has a pretend bow and arrow. Maybe he's analyzing where he's going to fly. Hmm. On your mark. Get set. Oh, clearly, he's throwing some spider webs, don't you think? And here he's getting ready to jump or fly, one of the two. I have a cape. Looks like he's announcing it to whoever this person is. Hmm. This person looking at a tablet. Hmm. If I have a cape, I must have a superhero. Let me try that again. <laughs> if I have a cape, I must have a superpower. Everybody knows that. Mm hmm. See these? Look, there's no letters. I mean, there's no there's no vowels, so it's not a word. It's a sound. Mm hmm. Looks like this person is not really listening to him. Kind of halfway listening to him. Maybe I have a super strength. Watch me lift the couch over my head. One, two. <gasps> You're gonna hurt yourself. So if us are heavy, you can see why you couldn't pick that up. I must be able to turn invisible. Swoosh, you can't see me. Yes, I can. See, now this tells me he's very young because when you're young and you cover your face with a fabric or a piece of cloth, or even if you're just hiding, you don't believe anybody can see you. So he must be young. I can fly. 
Please don't jump on the couch. Oh, remember those days? Well, maybe you still do them. We would jump off the couch and we felt like we were flying. I can probably read minds. Think of something and I'll tell you what you're thinking about. Hmm, he's thinking. A cape? No. A jetpack? No. A cookie as big as a house? No. Are you using some kind of force field to block my powers? <laughs> no. <laughs> a force field. I didn't know those words when I was little. It must be all the Star Wars movies. All the Baby Yoda movies that teaches you all about force fields. Prepare to be frozen by my super freeze blast breath. Psst. Did you brush your teeth today, young man? Uh oh, he has bad breath. <laughs> Watch me run faster than a jet powered cheetah wearing turbo rocket sneakers. See, I told you, these are superpower, superhero sneakers. Watch me run faster than a jet-powered cheetah wearing turbo rocket sneakers. No running in the house. His dad doesn't seem very interested. But I have a cape. I must have some kind of superpower. Well, you have a super power powerful imagination. Not everybody has that. That's very true. Not everybody has that. And his imagination is pretty amazing. Yeah, that's right. Do you know what I'm imagining now? No, what? Ooh, looks like he's pushing his dad somewhere. And it looks like his dad is laughing, so maybe he knows where they're going. <gasps> Two superheroes in the house. Oh, and look, he put on his shirt. Can we go backwards? He put on his, well, I'm imagining that shirt was light blue. And then he put the shirt around his, his collar, his, his neck. <gasps> you can turn anything into a cape. Use your imagination. Oh, the little boy looks so happy. He, he never had a name. I have a feeling that's probably what the author did when he was little. So I'll call him Marty. Look at Marty and his dad. Marty's so happy. I think that's the end. Oh, one more picture. This is a picture of my son. Ooh, about 20, 21 years ago. He had just gotten out of the bath. He had his pajamas on and we put a towel around his neck <laughs> so he could pretend he was a superhero. Look at him standing so tall. He feels like a superhero. Capes are magical. Oh, I hope that you put a towel on you and do something superhero-ish. Use your imagination. This was fun. Thank you for joining me. Until next time.